Buddhism is an Indian religion or philosophical tradition based on a number of original teachings attributed to Gautama Buddha. Buddhism originated in ancient India as a tradition of Brahmins, wandering monks, sometime between the 6th and 4th centuries BC, and spread throughout most of Asia. It is the fourth largest religion in the world, with more than 520 million followers, accounting for over 7% of the world's population known as Buddhists. Buddhism includes many traditions, beliefs, and spiritual practices, largely based on the teachings of the Buddha and their subsequent philosophical interpretations. In this video, we have collected the most important quotes of the Buddha. Try to accept and let through all the wisdom contained in these words. You yourself must strive. The Buddha is only point the way. Without health, life is not life. It is only a state of languor and suffering, an image of death. Long is the night to him who is awake. Long is a mile to him who is tired. Long is life to the foolish who do not know the true law. All experiences are preceded by mind, having mind as their master, created by mind. Live every act fully as if it were your last. Set your heart on doing good. Do it over and over again, and you will be filled with joy. He who sits alone, sleeps alone, and walks alone, who is strenuous and subdues himself alone, will find delight in the solitude of the forest. However many holy words you read, however many you speak, what good will they do you if you do not act on upon them? The true master lives in truth, in goodness and restraint, non-violence, moderation, and purity. Men, driven on by thirst, run about like a snared hare. Let therefore mendicant drive out thirst by striving after passionlessness for himself. Nothing ever exists entirely alone. Everything is in relation to everything else. Attachment leads to suffering. One moment can change a day, one day can change a life, and one life can change the world. All wrongdoing arises because of mind. If mind is transformed, can wrongdoing remain? In separateness lies the world's greatest misery. In compassion lies the world's true strength. Speak only endearing speech, speech that is welcomed. Speech, when it brings no evil to others, is a pleasant thing. Give, even if you only have a little. If anything is worth doing, do it with all your heart. Three things cannot be long hidden: the sun, the moon, and the truth. Even death is not to be feared by one who has lived wisely. All tremble at violence, all fear death. Putting oneself in the place of another, one should not kill nor cause another to kill. Kindness should become the natural way of life. not the exception neither fire nor wind birth nor death can erase our good deeds true love is born from understanding it is easy to see the faults of others but difficult to see one's own faults one shows the faults of others like chaff winnowed in the wind but one conceals one's own faults as a cunning gambler conceals his dice To be idle is a short road to death and to be diligent is a way of life foolish people are idle wise people are diligent The way is not in the sky the way is in the heart Love is a gift of one's innermost soul to another so both can be whole You are a seeker 
Delight in the mastery of your hands and your feet, of your words and your thoughts. He is able, who thinks he is able. Hatred, does not cease through hatred at any time. Hatred ceases through love. This is an unalterable law. Everything, is based on mind, is led by mind, is fashioned by mind. If you speak and act with a polluted mind, suffering will follow you, as the wheels of the ox cart follow the footsteps of the ox. The one, who has conquered himself, is a far greater hero than he, who has defeated a thousand times a thousand men. Whatever precious jewel, there is in the heavenly worlds, there is nothing comparable to one, who is awakened. Those, who cling to perceptions and views wander the world, offending people. If we could see, the miracle of a single flower clearly, our whole life, would change. Just as the great ocean has one taste, the taste of salt, so also this teaching and discipline has one taste, the taste of liberation. If we fail to look after others, when they need help, who will look after us? When one has the feeling of dislike for evil, when one feels tranquil, one finds pleasure in listening to good teachings, when one has these feelings and appreciates them, one is free of fear. It is a man's own mind, not his enemy or foe, that lures him to evil ways. Meditation brings wisdom, lack of meditation leaves ignorance. Know well what leads you forward, and what holds you back, and choose the path, that leads to wisdom. The fool, who knows he is a fool, is that much wiser. Praise and blame, gain and loss, pleasure and sorrow, come and go like the wind. To be happy, rest like a giant tree in the midst of them all. Better than a thousand hollow words, is one word, that brings peace. Be a lamp for yourselves. Be your own refuge. Seek for no other. All things must pass. Strive on diligently. Don't give up. When watching after yourself, you watch after others. When watching after others, you watch after yourself. Even as a solid rock is unshaken by the wind, so are the wise unshaken, by praise or blame. I do not dispute with the world, rather it is the world, that disputes with me. All that we are, is the result of what we have thought. Ambition, is like love impatient both of delays and rivals. Nothing is forever, except change. I will not look at another's bowl intent on finding fault, a training to be observed. One is not called noble, who harms living beings. By not harming living beings one, is called noble. Offend in neither word nor deed. Eat with moderation. Live in your heart. Seek the highest consciousness. Master yourself according to the law. This is the simple teaching of the awakened. Ceasing to do evil, cultivating the good, purifying the heart, this is the teaching of the Buddhas. The whole secret of existence, is to have no fear. Never fear what will become of you, depend on no one. Only the moment you reject all help are you freed. You will not be punished, for your anger. You will be punished by your anger. There is no fire like passion, there is no shark like hatred, there is no snare like folly, there is no torrent like greed. What you are, is what you have been. What you'll be, is what you do now. Work out your own salvation. Do not depend on others. He who loves 50 people, has 50 woes, 
He who loves no one, has no woes. A man is not called wise because he talks and talks again, but if he is peaceful, loving, and fearless, then he is in truth called wise. Should you find a wise, critic to point out your faults, follow him, as you would a guide to hidden treasure. Better, it is to live one day seeing the rise and fall of things, than to live a hundred years, without ever seeing the rise and fall of things. Do not turn away, what is given you, nor reach out, for what is given to others, lest you disturb your quietness. Whatever has the nature of arising, has the nature of ceasing. Health, is the greatest gift. Contentment, the greatest wealth. Faithfulness, the best relationship. Wear your ego, like a loose-fitting garment. Being deeply learned and skilled, being well-trained and using well-spoken words, this is good luck. Delight in heedfulness. Guard well your thoughts. Happiness, comes when your work and words, are of benefit to yourself and others. Know from the rivers in clefts and in crevices, those in small channels flow noisily, the great flow silent. Whatever is not full makes noise. Whatever is full is quiet. Our life is shaped by our mind, we become what we think. Joy follows a pure thought, like a shadow that never leaves. Conquer the angry one, by not getting angry. Conquer the wicked, by goodness. Conquer the stingy, by generosity, and the liar, by speaking the truth. There is nothing more dreadful, than the habit of doubt. Doubt separates people. It is a poison that disintegrates friendships, and breaks up pleasant relations. It is a thorn, that irritates and hurts, it is a sword, that kills. Do not look for a sanctuary in anyone, except yourself. An idea, that is developed and put into action, is more important than an idea, that exists only as an idea. To support mother and father, to cherish wife and child, and to have a simple livelihood, this is the good luck. Virtue, is persecuted more by the wicked, than it is loved by the good. Just as treasures are uncovered from the earth, so virtue appears from good deeds, and wisdom appears from a pure and peaceful mind. To walk safely through the maze of human life, one needs the light of wisdom and the guidance of virtue. Should a seeker not find a companion, who is better or equal, let them resolutely pursue a solitary course. Anger, will never disappear so long, as thoughts of resentment are cherished in the mind. Anger will disappear just as soon, as thoughts of resentment are forgotten. Should a person do good, let him do it again and again. Let him find pleasure therein, for blissful is the accumulation of good. Delight in meditation and solitude. Compose yourself, be happy. You are a seeker. Understanding, is the heartwood of well-spoken words. It is in the nature of things, that joy arises in a person free from remorse. Nothing can harm you as much, as your own thoughts unguarded. The greatest gift, is to give people your enlightenment, to share it. It has to be the greatest. To live a pure unselfish life, one must count nothing as one's own, in the midst of abundance. There is no path to happiness, happiness is the path. Those, who have failed to work toward the truth, have missed the purpose of living. Let none find fault with others, let none see the omissions and commissions of others. But let one see one's own acts, done and undone. 
Every human being is the author of his own health or disease. The root of suffering is attachment. One who acts on truth is happy in this world and beyond. The instant we feel anger, we have already ceased striving for the truth and have begun striving for ourselves. If you propose to speak, always ask yourself, is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? Ardently do today what must be done. Who knows? Tomorrow, death comes. If you do not change direction, you may end up where you are heading. Like a fine flower, beautiful to look at, but without scent, fine words are fruitless in a man who does not act in accordance with them. May all that have life be delivered from suffering. The virtues, like the muses, are always seen in groups. A good principle was never found solitary in any breast. Whatever words we utter, should be chosen with care for people will hear them, and be influenced by them for good or ill. There is no fear for one, whose mind is not filled with desires. Drop by drop, is the water pot filled. Likewise the wise man, gathering it little by little, fills himself with good. They blame those, who remain silent. They blame those, who speak much. They blame those, who speak in moderation. There is none in the world, who is not blamed. There is nothing so disobedient, as an undisciplined mind, and there is nothing so obedient, as a disciplined mind. Whatever a monk keeps pursuing with his thinking and pondering, that becomes the inclination of his awareness. A mind, unruffled by the vagaries of fortune, from sorrow freed, from defilements cleansed, from fear liberated, this is the greatest blessing. Endurance, is one of the most difficult disciplines, but it is to the one who endures, that the final victory comes. As I am, so are these. As are these, so am I. Drawing the parallel to yourself, neither kill nor get others to kill. Radiate boundless love, towards the entire world. Let all embracing thoughts for all beings, be yours. People with opinions, just go around bothering each other. There are two mistakes, one can make along the road to truth. Not going all the way, and not starting. Our theories of the eternal, are as valuable as are those, which a chick which has not broken its way through its shell, might form of the outside world. We are, what we think. All that we are, arises with our thoughts. With our thoughts, we make the world. Thousands of candles, can be lighted from a single candle, and the life of the candle, will not be shortened. Happiness never decreases, by being shared. As an elephant in the battlefield, withstands arrows shot from bows all around, even so shall I endure abuse. Life, is like the harp string, if it is strung too tight, it won't play, if it is too loose, it hangs. The tension that produces the beautiful sound, lies in the middle. Just as a candle cannot burn without fire, men cannot live, without a spiritual life. Do not overrate, what you have received, nor envy others. He who envies others, does not obtain peace of mind. Unity, can only be manifested by the binary. Unity itself, and the idea of unity, are already two. In whom, there is no sympathy for living beings, know him as an outcast. If with a pure mind a person speaks or acts, 
happiness follows him, like his never departing shadow. Irrigators channel waters, Fletchers straighten arrows, carpenters bend wood, the wise master themselves. The wise ones, fashion speech with their thought, sifting it, as grain is sifted through a sieve. Chaos, is inherent in all compounded things. Strive on with diligence. Silence the angry man, with love. Silence the ill-natured man, with kindness. Silence the miser, with generosity. Silence the liar, with truth. Meditate. Do not delay, lest you later regret it. Purity or impurity, depends on oneself. No one can purify another. Whoever doesn't flare up at someone who's angry, wins a battle hard to win. If you find no one, to support you on the spiritual path, walk alone. Resolutely train yourself, to attain peace. What we are today, comes from our thoughts of yesterday, and our present thoughts, build our life of tomorrow, our life is the creation of our mind. If you knew, what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass, without sharing it in some way. To keep the body in good health, is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our mind, strong and clear. Just as a mother would protect her only child, with her life, even so, let one cultivate a boundless love towards all beings. She, who knows life flows, feels no wear or tear, needs no mending or repair. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. You yourself, as much as anybody in the entire universe, deserve your love and affection. Those, who are free of resentful thoughts, surely find peace. The tongue, like a sharp knife, kills without drawing blood. An insincere and evil friend, is more to be feared than a wild beast, a wild beast may wound your body, but an evil friend, will wound your mind. Mind precedes all mental states. Mind is their chief, they are all mind wrought. Teach this triple truth to all, a generous heart, kind speech, and a life of service and compassion, are the things which renew humanity. Both formerly and now, it is only suffering that I describe, and the cessation of suffering. No one saves us, but ourselves. No one can, and no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. Some, do not understand that we must die, but those who do realize this, settle their quarrels. The secret of health for both mind and body, is not to mourn for the past, not to worry about the future, not to anticipate the future, but to live the present moment wisely and earnestly. 